Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another awesome episode of What's Crack Like in the Door World. I am your host, Capitan Puerto Rico. Let's get to it! Sorry about Capitan Puerto Rico coming into the picture. He always gets excited when there's cameras around. But um, let's start talking toys and let's start with one six scale collectible. <laughs> And in one six scale collectibles, we start with Hot Toys Hulk from the Avengers. Yes, Hulk, we've been waiting for it for a long time and we finally have a Hulk from Hot Toys. People are disappointed, people are pumped. I'm pumped. Slightly disappointed because it only comes with two um, hands extra and that's it. I would expect it to come with a different head scope, but no other head scope, at least for now. Hopefully, they'll change their mind and do something about that. It does have some articulation. I'm not sure what the body is composed of, but um, I'm guessing it's some more rubber material. Either way, it looks fantastic. At $300, it's cheaper than what we thought was going to be. Um, also from Hot Toys is the collaboration with Wiston Creations and um, it's from the Ape um, Explorers World uh, version 2 if you will. Um, Apex Workbot W-O-1. So uh, it's looking pretty awesome. Can't wait to see uh, more pictures of this uh, butt. Um, and last but not least, we have um, Play Imagine's um, Super Alloy Batman, which is 1-6 scale. I thought it was uh, smaller, but it is 12 inches. And um, it's composed out of metal and PVC and ABS and all this crap, but mostly metal. And um, it's uh, $270 for the, uh, for the exclusive. I'm not sure if the uh, regular version is going to come out um, at the same price, maybe a little bit cheaper. But, um, but the exclusive has uh, like a shinier finish compared to the uh, regular version's matte finish. Pretty cool, you know? It's pretty cool. But anyways, uh, let's move on to statues. And in statues, we start with Triforce's, um, uh, what do you call it, Darksiders 2 merchandise collection. Um, that they're gonna, pretty much like an announcement of the Darksiders, um, uh, license so we already saw what they're planning um, on the first series of uh, collectibles which is the props and the uh, statues so uh, let's see what else they come up with in the uh, future of the line um, McFarlane is coming out with a Curse of Spawn um, resin um, statue and um, they're they're they have an exclusive out which is going to be um, the uh, artist proof unpainted cast of the statue which looks pretty pimp because unpainted stuff looks pretty awesome so it's all gray obviously and the painting version i think goes for pre-order soon or is already out for pre-order but um it looks pretty awesome i'm, I'm glad to see um my father doing statues already um first for figures ganondorf already came out um and um i mean pretty awesome i can't really say that much about it i haven't said it yet it's a fantastic statue can't wait to see link and samus if we if we get them eventually um kotobuki atis is their uh, new um 52 uh from dc comics uh flash um which is uh what do you call it you can see the the kind of the post it's gonna have there it looks like he has his fist together and whatnot very nice um it's from their art fx plus line and so it's gonna be like seven inches tall nothing humongous like the other ones um pop culture shock uh has their tag out for pre-order um there's the exclusive version comes with like a comic version head is what they're calling it um, he has like a growl on that on that head and the regular version just has like this murk not really a, a growl or anything you don't see teeth I'm um, really pumped um, about Tiger of course is the uh, Thundercat, Thundercat is a shit um, Sideshow also released their Commander Shepard which um, pretty anticipated uh, license and finally got him and now you get Commander Shepard who looks pretty pimp um, the exclusive comes with the uh, helmeted version the actual head scope of the dude is freaking ridiculous it looks fantastic in the prototype I hope the production comes exactly like it is there because it's freaking phenomenal um, and all the weapons I like the base the base is really uh, orange <laughs> super awesome they also teased their Darth Marvel's premium format which we saw at Comic Con and we will get for pre-order eventually probably next week and um, oh my god Master Chief so they uh, 
have for pre-order Master Chief for yesterday actually and um, the exclusive which is the full picture you're looking at right now comes with the Needler which is pretty awesome I mean the Needler is a pretty kick ass weapon um, then you have the Master Chief comes with the uh, pistol and the uh, rifle okay the rifle and the pistol from the regular version and then if you get the exclusive you got all three uh, guns that you can display them with which is pretty kick ass people are complaining about the uh, helmet um, the actual vice are not being detailed, but it, this is from the first game, okay? So that's how the helmet was in the first game. When we get a, a Master Chief in the uh, Mjolnir Mark uh, 6, then you should expect some detail just like in the game. But anyways, this is not from those games. This is from the first game. The first game did not have detail in the uh, I mean, I guess they could have put some detail on it, but you know, leave it like this. It's classic. I love it. Um, and last but not least, their Storm Shadow uh, statue, which um, the exclusive comes with the uh, bow and arrow, which is pretty cool. Um, but definitely the uh, the, the classic uh, stance for him is with the swords, and the uh, regular version is the one with the swords. So you get the exclusive, you get the bow and arrow. The regular, you get the swords only. Um, both come with two head sculpts, which is the one with the hood and the one without the hood. Pretty awesome, right? Very nice. Enough of statues, let's go to vinyl. And in vinyl, let's start with first Jamungo and 3-0 with their squats line, which is pretty awesome. And um, they released their uh, Frog S003 and K11 Spot Frozen Hole. And uh, of course, they sold out in a few minutes because that's how all squats sold out. I mean, it's ridiculous how popular this line is. Um, pretty awesome as you can see the uh, colorway is fantastic also in the squats world um, this guy F plus made a, uh, a custom um, diorama with uh, squats and um, as you can see in the pictures it's pretty amazing I mean it is freaking ridiculous I have linked you to the uh, to the to his website so you can see and read all about it because um, it's pretty impressive it impressed for beyond belief so he managed that I'm sure it's you know it's looking worthy you know you need to see this um, I wish we could see this in person because it looks pretty freaking amazing but uh, yeah awesomeness um, Fool's Paradise has a new uh, collaboration with um, Z C W O uh, never heard of him I gotta do some more extensive research but it looks like the collaboration is gonna be fantastic it's gonna be um, premium high quality um, items that we're gonna get from this line and CZWO is gonna be producing these items and um, from the uh, uh, pictures that we've seen it looks like this big ass muscular dude looks like he's sitting down or something uh, will be the first product from this line so I'm guessing Fool's Paradise stuff is already awesome this collaboration I'm sure it's gonna be pretty kick ass um, also we got a few um, uh, we got a uh, teaser from Hong Ji on something he's working um, called the shark monster and um, All we got is that picture of that horn looking thing pretty cool um, also key robot did a uh, 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 What do you call it they went to his studio to Hong Ji's studio took some pictures wrote something up and Go check that out. I have it linked of course and because um, it's pretty kick-ass, you know his studio is pretty awesome and uh, last but not least in Hong Ji news it, which is crazy uh, to me. Um, they keep robot came up. Keep robot and Hunky has have the uh, the skull slinger that you're looking at right now. Um, in the Blundie edition came out a few uh, days ago. 700 edition size. 700. Okay. It sold out in I think it less than a day for 700 of them. There are hundred dollars each, and they sold out. I thought I was gonna have a chance. No, too late, Bidu. But anyways, super awesome. Um, Koss has a uh, new uh, companion um, called the Resting Place. Companion Resting Place, I think, is the title of the whole uh, thing. Looks pretty awesome. I'm not sure how big it is, but it looks to be uh, pretty big. Um, um, but again, I'm not sure, so I gotta check out what the size is. But it looks pretty awesome. Um, from Crunk and Creep Robot, they have a Crunk. I mean, Crunk is a kick-ass artist, but this dragon is pretty badass. They have a, a Dweezil Dragon is the name of the uh, of the character, and they have two colorways. They have the red version and the regular version. The regular version is the one with the black um, and blue which is pretty pimp already and then you got the red version which is the gray and red and um, 
Uh, I just love the character. It looks pretty awesome. I, I'm a bitch for dragons, and this dragon looks pretty kick-ass, and it's like in a mid straw, like, oh, I'm a pimp, bitch. But it uh, looks, looks pretty awesome. So, uh, $350. It is just like $300 for both. And um, 50 inches tall, too. So, it's not like a little bitch. It's humongous. Um, awesomeness. And, last but not least, we got uh, robots and cereals. Uh, Cactus Man, um, which is a, a six-inch, uh, it is in such a 15 figure, um, 75 bucks, and um, it reminds me of freaking uh, Final Fantasy, that little cactus dude, um, only just hardcore and ready for battle. All he needs is a gun to uh, kick some bitches. <laughs> Get down, I'm Cactus Man. So uh, looking awesome. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to everything else. And in everything else, let's start with this fantastic story that happened here, okay? This mom and son duo, um, <laughs> what do you call it? We're stealing from Toys R Us's, Walmart's, Kmart's, all over the United States. They stole from every single state in the United States of America, all 50 states, that's right. And um, they stole approximately about two million dollars in two years. And what they were doing was stuffing um, boxes of crappy stuff, big ass boxes um, of whatever, putting toys in there, selling the box up, and paying for the box. You know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. And that happened just right here. The guy um, is actually being held, like I don't know, like like two miles away from my house. So I'm gonna go slap him in the face being a bitch um, but anyways um, two million dollars worth of toys bro in 10 years holy crap that's a lot of fucking toys my god that's a lot of toys <laughs> anyways I thought it was funny that um, 70 year old mom and 46 year old son were bonding together over toys you know that's the uh, that's the real story behind this they were bonding toys so pretty awesome um, yeah but anyways let's go to uh, the uh, Linkin Park and Hasbro collaboration for the Transformers Soundwave that they did. Now, I am disappointed at this Soundwave because it's, it's Linkin Park and Linkin Park has some creative um, bitches in that band, uh, Mike Shinoda for example. Um, and I was expecting that collaboration to be more uh, graphically awesome, you know. Just more than just gold, okay? More than just gold. It's just straight up gold. It's the G1. Soundwave gold. Oh my god, super awesome! Not really. So, uh, you know, it's Linkin Park. I love Linkin Park. I would expect it to be better. Just, I don't know what the reasoning behind the gold, solid gold is. Would love to know. But I was expecting something more awesome. You know, Meteora style. You remember that? Pretty awesome. Anyways, McFarlane um, put out pictures, really crappy ass pictures of the uh, Halo 4 Series 2. It's so small. I don't know if you can, it's gonna be so pixelated. But either way, um, the line is moving forward, which is pretty awesome. And um, I can't wait to see more characters from Halo 4. I can't wait to play the game. Um, Mega sneak peeks their uh, Series 7 camo cloaked. Uh, fuck Honer and Berserker. I don't know what happened to the other guy, but I guess he's not cool enough to be in the line. <laughs> and they also put another picture of them on painting Fuck Honer with the uh, actual Falcon device thing that flies around killing people. Uh, from Revolt Tech, we get uh, my favorite Evangelion, which is um, Evangelion 02. Um, as you can see, this is from the obviously the new theatrical versions. This is probably from the third uh, movie that is coming out, I think November. And because um, I haven't seen this crap anywhere, and uh, you can see it looks like that thing is a flying device, and she has the freaking um, sniper rifle on it. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but it's gonna be pretty pimp to see. And it also has the, the uh, half of the face messed up. If you can see in the picture where it's uh, standing up straight, um, it's a small picture, so uh, bear with me. But it, you can see that the head, the head on the uh, Eva is not completely red, and um, it looks like it's scarred. I'm not sure exactly what they did, but since it got messed up last at last movie, that's what's up. You know, you get bitch slap. That's what's up. <laughs> um, Anyways, from uh, Tamashi uh, Nation, Super Robot Chokin Megasword. 
Yeah, if you were a little kid back in the uh, 90s, then you were uh, privy to uh, this thing called Power Rangers. And if you were a fan of Transformers too, then watching Power Rangers and seeing those robots, it just all culminated into a orgasmic. Oh my god, it's so awesome! So the first sword was pretty awesome, which was the one with the dinosaurs, and it looks like a freaking... It looks like a Transformers. This will suck. So, uh, Temachinations is doing this, uh, pretty cool, um, robot line. I'm guessing it's like five inches, uh, a la Revolt Tech, if you know, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, looking pretty awesome. I really like this, uh, sword. I wish, I wish we had a big ass freaking, um, um, articulated sword, uh, mega sword from the, uh, obviously the first one. And, of course, the, uh, Green Ranger dinosaur dude. Remember that? Yeah, awesome. Uh, last but not least, Bulk is releasing a 1 7th scale um, racing kit of Audrey uh, Burn from Gundam Unicorn. Yeah, you haven't seen Gundam Unicorn? So it's pretty cool to see characters, human characters from the Gundam universe being made. I wish they were on 1 6 scale action figures instead of 1 7 scale racing kits, but uh, something is something I would love to see. Uh, um, moving away from the box thing, um, a company like Hot Toys, which had the license and they did a uh, Charles Asnable, which looked really pretty crappy, but again, it was back in the day. So get the license again and do some human characters, you know? We, we also like human characters. Uh, Gundams are awesome, but we like human characters. Um, but, anyways, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching all this, guys. Um, as always, in my website, everything's linked so you can check out the stories, uh, more info, and where I got my info from. And I love you. So, peace out, and I will come back to you hopefully next week. Peace.